All right, hope you're doing well. We're in the backyard. We're gonna do some awesome stuff today. It's gonna to help you out wherever you may be. Let's go. All right, backyard golf is my specialty. It's where I learned. That's how you can get really, really good, really, really fast. Believe it or not, I believe hitting into a net will produce faster, better results than just banging balls at the range. So we're here, we're forced, we're locked down, we're locked up. We're not locked up, but we're, we're in. Hope you guys are doing well, by the way. It's the craziest, weirdest time ever. Uh, but uh, we're gonna make the most of it. So we're, we're, we're here. We're doing it. Love you guys. Uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, please do that. I really appreciate it. And hit the bell so you don't miss anything. All the links below are with products I use and recommend. Also, if you want to know how I built this net, I'll put a little link right up here for you. So check that out. If you're curious how this crazy thing was put together, I will also leave a link below for other nets pre-made nets that you can purchase that I think are pretty good. I'll leave a link of those in the description below also. So if you're looking for a net, check that out. And uh, there you go. Also some hitting mats. I'll put those down below as well for you. Spider web on my hat. See that? Anyways, um, all right. Let's jump on today's, uh, today's lesson, we'll call it. Here we go. Okay, so today's drill is something you can really do most effectively in a net of some sort. It's just, in my experience, that's easier because you can really uh, focus on what we need to focus on. And the thing is, what I get asked a lot is, what do you focus on? What's your swing thought in your swing? Are you, are you working on your knees, your hips, your arms, your like what starts the, the swing and what is your thought process in terms of what do you think about in the swing? And so what I tell everybody is this, well, it's different for everybody. There's no right answer to that. Some people do better thinking about their shoulders, some like their arms connected. So what we need to do is give you a drill so that you can identify what works best for you so that you can have the best result. In my swing, when I get to the top, a lot of the times you'll see me, I do a little of this, this move. Now it's not bad to come across the line, but when I do that, what happens is I get here, I do this, and then I pull it down and I get narrow here. Let me wide, okay? This is where you wanna be. This is where I get. And then I flip and I've gotta, I lean back and it gets worse with my driver. So, I, I've had to go through this process numerous times to get rid of that and it comes back and then I got to do it again and over and over and over so that we have um, the swing we want. And it all comes down to this. It's not always a swing fix, okay? It's not, oh, do this or that or uh. Many times it's a mental shift. And so you just want to train your brain to focus on different things and your body will uh, respond and cooperate. Okay, so getting to it, here's what you're gonna do on this drill. We're gonna learn to focus on different parts of our body as we swing, and then you're gonna try to figure out what shot you hit the best. If you have a little launch monitor or something, you can use that. I'm not gonna use that. I'm just looking for ball contact, because that's what I just wanna focus. How, what kind of ball contact did I make? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm really gonna focus on my feet. Number one, start ground up. So I'm just gonna focus on my feet, what are my feet doing? It doesn't so ma much matter what they're doing. What matters is that you're thinking about them with your head. So I'm just thinking about my feet and what my feet are doing during my golf swing. Okay, and I wanna keep a mental note of how did I strike that ball? 
and just give your scale uh, self a uh, scale of one to ten that was probably like a seven maybe a six it, it wasn't great so i'm like okay so you would do a few of those and now i'm going to work my way up now next is my knees i'm going to focus right here on my knees or what are my knees doing you know during the swing so i'm just going to have mental focus on my knees in my swing that's the second piece of this so maybe pinch them in just feel it out okay that was slightly better maybe a seven it wasn't great okay but that was me focusing on my knees now i'm going to work up to my hips here and i'm like okay get a good rotation hips rotate down and through and around okay only focusing on hips here i don't care about anything else in my swing and i'm just kind of pre-shot routining my hips here shake it out turn and turn all right that was my worst one and so many times it's interesting that I've had people tell me, Matt, in order for this to not happen, you have to really start with your hips. A lot of instructors say that, okay? And it's not untrue, but when I focus on my hips, I get out of sync. And that was a, my worst one, probably a two out of 10. And that's me focusing on my hips. So now I'm gonna work my way up here. I'm gonna focus on next, let's do my hands. That's kind of next. Maybe you're a real handsy player. So I'm only gonna focus, I'm gonna take the club back with my hands. I'm going to just only think about my hands up here. You know, carry the pizza. Focus on the hands this time only. Felt very Nick Price-like. Quick swing. I hit it pretty good. That's probably an eight and a half, nine out of 10. That was good. So that was me focusing on the hands. And, but I don't, particularly like to focus on the hands because what happens is then I get too handsy at the ball and I my misses are bigger my good shots are great but my misses are bigger I've done this many many times to know that so that's me focusing on the hands but I hit it really good when I hit it good so I like that so sometimes when I'm struggling on course I will just focus on the hands because I know my good shots are gonna be good next I'm going arms okay I'm gonna focus solely on my arms so my arms are just whatever your perception of what should the arms do, do that, okay? It doesn't so matter. I'm, I don't need to give you arm instruction right now. It's just, can you focus on the arms with the swing you have and what's your, what's your swing with that? Okay, so I got arms. I feel like my arms are connected. They're pushed in. That's all good. Okay, not a great shot, kind of thin. And what happened there was I just felt too stiff too stiff and rigid and really try to identify what you're feeling. I felt like I was like, I got bored. I didn't like that. So, okay, good to know. So far, my favorite is the hands, to be honest with you. Next up, I'm going shoulders, okay? So what should my shoulders do in the golf swing? Well, I want them to turn, right? I want my shoulders to turn. And then I really want my shoulders kind of to, to just lead the golf swing here, kind of fall and rotate. So I'm thinking up here, shoulders now. And let's see what kind of shot I've got, just solely focusing on shoulders. That was pretty good. Okay, so now I have two of my favorites. I've got hands and shoulders. So let me, let me go back to the hands and just do another one here, just solely hands. Pretty good. I like that. Now I'm going back to shoulders. Picked up my two favorites and picking out shoulders. Oh, that was my best shot. That was shoulders. So what I'm doing is I'm going through my entire body trying to learn which one I make best ball contact with. Now I've got shoulders that I'm making the best ball contact with. Okay, so what do I do with that now? So now I hit shot after shot after shot, just solely focusing on the shoulder and seeing if it's consistent. So I'm like, okay, just shoulders, just shoulders, all shoulders. I don't feel stiff. When I go hand, arms, I'm, I'm like too stiff. Shoulders, I can rel relax, with arms and hands, and I just got my shoulders turning. Hands are nice and loose. I don't have to worry about too tight of a grip. Best shot I had right there. So for me, Right now, when I'm swinging shoulders, I feel like I'm here and I'm able to get that club 
dropping in here. If I'm thinking um, arms, I'm too stiff. If I'm thinking hips, I get, I get out of, let's say, sync for me. And when I'm thinking shoulders, I'm able to relax the arms, the hands, and my body just does what it normally does. But for you, you might need to focus on hips because that might relax the rest of your body. You might need to focus on knees or feet, but you have to discover that in order to be able to know what works best for you. Now, I was always like a hip guy. That's where I wanted to go. And arms, because I wanted to extend. People, even coaches told me, you gotta get wide, extend. Okay, because you get too narrow. But then when I think about arms, I'm too stiff and I can't have a fluid motion that I like to have. So for me, it's shoulders. It's shoulders and that gets me here, able to drop and turn on through. So use this time wisely. It's gonna help you be a great player and find out what piece of the swing you need to focus on for the best possible result for you. There's no one answer, you know? I can't tell you, oh, you need to think this doesn't work. Don't let anybody fool you into that. Find out what works best for you. You might have problems in your swing, that's fine, but if you find out where your focus needs to be for the best result, quite often that will work a lot of the swing issues out. And then you can whittle it down to like, hey, okay, I sway off the ball, let me fix that. We'll deal with that in another video. But for now, learn what you need to have for your swing thought it will help you tremendously. Good luck out there. Keep working hard, keep practicing. This is the best way you can utilize your time right now. Get yourself a net set up, get to it. Don't quit. Love you guys, stay safe out there. See you in the next, maybe backyard video. <laughs>